Rose for PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 15th to the 21st of October. So we've got a lot of moon activity this week. The moon is going to be going past quite a lot of the outer planets. can cause a little bit of difficult energy. So they, it's going to be like Saturn, Saturn, Pluto, Neptune and Mars all conjunct throughout the week. So you might find that quite a lot of people around you are having emotional outbursts, people are being really sensitive, perhaps there might be some kind of you know tension in the air a little bit because other people are feeling things very strongly and that might make you th feel a little bit uncomfortable like you know oh, I don't really want to have to deal with other people's emotions right now. As the week progresses the moon is going to be conjunct Uranus as well, your ruling planet, so you are going to end up joining the party, so you might end up feeling like, you know, f like earlier on in the week you got a little bit tired of other people having these emotional outbursts and then all of a sudden you have one, it just comes out of nowhere and you're like, oh, what is that about? And the trick is, this week, is to just be really, really patient with yourself, be really, really patient with other people, remember that it is... You know, anything that anybody reacts to is to do with them and not you, you know, unless you've done something wrong. But if you haven't done anything, then just let them have their emotions because there's a lot of like transforming going on and there's a lot of people kind of realizing lessons and purging stuff. So just be really patient with other people and in turn try and use this, like if you have your own emotions over all of this, try and use it to focus on within because right now it is still Venus retrograde so we are being taught to you know look after ourselves recognize our own needs you know how we relate to other people so if you can try and like go within a little bit and try and figure out why you might be having those emotions why you might react to other people in a certain way why other people might make you feel uncomfortable like just try and focus on your own lessons this week be really patient with yourself and others and actually you'll try and have you know you'll eventually have your own breakthroughs with this stuff as well and this is what it's all about really it's all about you know looking at why we feel certain ways and the planets are just trying to help us do this even if it might be a little bit sticky at first so let's pick you a tarot card for a little bit of extra help what we got for our Aquarius is that one the lovers mm, okay so yeah, The Lovers is all about a choice. It's all about, I mean, obviously it's romantic as well, but I feel like in this particular situation for you, it's a choice. It's a choice of whether to go within or whether to stay on the surface level. And, you know, in this we've got a marriage of opposites. So this card is like very alchemical in nature as well. It's all about becoming whole, balancing your opposite sides, you know, your light and your dark, balancing the outer and the inner. So I feel like... This goes a little bit with what I was saying, where, you know, instead of focusing on the outer so much, like other people's reactions, other people's emotions, and what everyone else is doing, try and go within and see how that reflects for you and what your own reactions mean, you know? And then by doing that, then you start to become more whole and you start to have this kind of like enlightened kind of feeling where you're like, oh, I understand that now, you know, I understand that feeling or I understand why that person is like that or, or why I reacted in that way. So yeah, that's going to be a big focus this week and just, just be patient with it all because it's part of a process and it will lead you to feeling a lot better afterwards. So yeah, I hope that helped guys. If it did, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.